This laser printer toner has many protections that make it difficult to regenerate. Here you will find incredibly flexible glue for the doctor blade, silicone for the cleaning blade, a patented photosensitive drum element, and much more. However, we know how to hack it, so greetings to Hewlett Packard. I will describe the most important security features, and you will see the security number at the same time. Number one, deep-seated pin that must be removed to separate the drum unit and toner unit. Number two, deeply seated photosensitive drum shaft. Number three, specially designed plastic that makes it difficult to remove the photosensitive drum. Number four. The photosensitive drum is a patented element, so you need to disassemble it and install a new non-original drum. Number five, by bending the mounts, you can damage the extremely delicate gear. The result of this defect will be horizontal lines on the prints and a knocking sound from the drive. Clever. After installing the gear, it may seem to you that everything is fine, but when you turn the gear it turns out that it rotates inside the drum instead of rotating it. The symptom will be a white print with one wide horizontal line instead of an image. It is necessary to bend the photosensitive drum shell in two places. It's very strange that the manufacturer didn't secure the charging roller. If I worked for Hewlett Packard, I would definitely secure it, and I even know how. You can install a new roller or simply wash the old one. The choice is yours. Number six, drum cleaning blade is a simple element, but there is a special silicone under it that you cannot damage. In my opinion, this is a weak protection and does not cause problems. This is silicone under the drum cleaning blade, but you'd have to be unlucky to damage it. However, you have to remember that. Already at the beginning, by unscrewing the screw, you can permanently damage parts of the housing and the toner cartridge will have to be thrown away.
Number seven. This small piece of plastic is responsible for transferring voltages and can be easily broken when removing the casing. The result is that there is no image on the printout. If you break this element, the toner cartridge is trash. To fill the cartridge with new powder, you need to remove the magnetic roller. It is not difficult, and you will not encounter any problems. Number 8. Toner blade, or popularly called the doctor blade. This is the most secure element in the cartridge. After unscrewing the two screws, you will be surprised by the fact that you cannot remove the doctor blade. There was a position of doctor blade in this place, but as you can see during rehearsals for the film, I broke it myself. What then? The cartridge is suitable for the trash, but don't worry about that. It will get worse soon. There is a plastic glue under the doctor blade, which makes it difficult to replace this element. It is best to remove the doctor blade in such a way as not to break the glue. I came here to party, I'm not gonna lie. So call up somebody, cause I ain't got the time. No, no, I'm feeling myself in the best way. I'm gonna pretend it's my birthday. Got all of my friends going crazy, cause this is how we do. We'll go dancing in the club on a Saturday night, go driving down sunset. At this point, the glue has separated from the casing, and this is a problem. Without glue, which is a seal, the printer will spill toner on each print after printing 20 pages. As you can see here is an attempt to glue the Doctro blade, but even a small leak causes toner to spill out. Remove the Doctro blade, taking care not to damage the glue continuity. Number 9. Be careful because this is not a reusable cap. Once removed, the cap cannot be reinserted, so pour the toner through the slot after removing the magnetic roller. You better not take off that cap and pour the toner powder in here. If you do, you'll have to glue the cap back on. The last protection is the chip. However, in this model, it is easy to dismantle and replace. I will add that the new chip is very cheap, so do not forget to replace it. So here are 10 safeguards to stop you from refilling your toner. Judge for yourself whether it's better to pay $120 for every 3,000 prints, because that's the efficiency of the original toner. Or maybe it's better to refill the toner and spend $15. What do you think? Write in the comments under the video.